Hi. Hi, how are you? Um, as it is, <laughs> as usual. As it was yesterday, same today? No. <laughs> Are you, did you have a good day today? What did you do today? Mm, I recorded a video for my YouTube channel. Oh, good, good. What was this video about? Uh, I recorded a story. It's a short video of uh, four minutes, four minutes and 15 seconds uh, on belief system. Learn English through stories. Oh, okay. And what was the story about? Uh, it was a story of elephant. Uh, like uh, a, a huge uh, animal were tied with a, a rope, uh, with a peg uh, stuck in the ground. And uh, a passerby asked that, how you manage, how have you uh, managed uh, to tie this huge animal with a little peg? And the trainer uh, replied that, uh, mm, when yet uh, elephant was a baby, we used to do it and it... Uh, didn't have strength to yank out the peg and it became his conditioning and now it's a huge full-fledged elephant even though he had his conditioning that when I'm tied with the rope I cannot uh, move or I cannot uh, yank it out so it's our belief system what we believe we become that person so it was a story about that. That oh, was very interesting. <laughs> I'll share it's quite sad. Quite sad though, the elephant. I feel bad for the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess it's the same for us. The things that we learn um, when we're children condition us for the rest of our lives. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, uh, I have joined a, a course uh, of accent reduction um, before joining Camly. And uh, it was uh, um, Indians were there in that course, but uh, all these people are living in other countries like uh, Japan, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and different, different countries. And uh, I was like, I'm a small town girl, how I'll manage with them. It was a small group of 10 people, but uh, I had that inferiority in my mind. But uh, eventually I found that I was the person who always used to talk. I was the person who always take in initiative and I was the person who were participating enthusiastically in each and every activity. So definitely yeah. boosted my confidence. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess, um, yeah, it's always something we struggle against. Yes. So that feeling of being inferior. Yes. Um, I think everyone suffers from it. Um, but then you just have to push through and challenge yourself. Yes. And it's it's always worthwhile. Yes. Definitely. So good for you. <laughs> are you still doing this course, the accent reduction? Or are you no, finished it was, now? It was of one month only. Uh, they, they taught very nicely, but uh, we didn't get enough practice. We just come to know how things work and theoretical part. And good. So I hope that your video does well, the story. <laughs> don't know what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean it's a good idea behind it yeah. um you know stories with a meaning I like those kind of stories yeah absolutely. you'll have to share it with me so I can definitely see. I'll share with you <laughs> um and for today I thought we could finish because I think we had a few more examples from yesterday yes and then continue with the the stress um working on different stresses Word stresses. So, so I will share the screen. I mean, the connection seems a little bit slow, but hopefully it's okay. So let me know if you can see it. Oh, I can't hear you. Are you still there? Mm, yeah, I guess. Yes. Okay, I can hear you now. Um, so yeah, we were we had done the first two. I don't know if you remember from yesterday, um, but today yes. we can start on the, the third one. Okay, we we can start from first uh, because uh, it's, uh, I yeah, start it. from the first one. No problem. Okay, so in the the first sentence, what would be the the stress words, the content words? Learning English, two months. Yes. So if you say the sentence. They've been learning English for two months. 
And again. Second one. Let's try it again, the first one. Okay. They've been learning English for two months. Yes. Um, so the remember the bean? What happens to bean? B, not bean. It, it should be B. Bin. Oh, bin. They've been yeah. learning English for two months. Good. Very good. Okay, let's try the second one. What is the, the content words, the stress words? My friends are uh, nothing do weekend. Okay, and if we read the sentence? My friends have nothing to do this weekend. And once more? My friends have nothing to do this weekend. Okay, so we don't really need the my. Yeah. Okay. What would, what would it sound like if the my wasn't stressed? My friends have nothing to do with this weekend. Yes. Good. That's better. <laughs> right. If you're now, trying, but definitely I'll pick up. Yes, I know. <laughs> you definitely will. You're already picking up very, very quickly. Um, number three. This is a new one. We didn't look at this one yesterday. Okay. I visited April uh, known Peter town so which words are the content words uh, visited april non peter town okay so you you would say there's five. Ooh, oh no i've just knocked it off screen mm, has disappeared i've knocked it i'm sorry i knocked it off okay. here we go okay Yes. Oh, yes. So um, you're right. There's five of the stress words in here. Now I want you to try and say it. Okay. I just visited in April. If I had known, if I had known Peter was in town, I would have visited in April. If I had known Peter was in town, I would have visited in April. If I had known Peter was in town. I would have visited in April if I had known Peter was in town. Yeah. So the was is was, was, was. was in town. Schwa. Yeah. The schwa. You're right. Good. Now, what about number four? Uh, is it uh, N-A-T-A-L-I-E? Natalie? Natalie. Natalie. Okay. I'm bad at uh, names of uh, uh, place and names of uh, Britishers and Americans because we are not familiar with pronunciations yeah. and spellings are completely different. Yes, and, and Natalie is an interesting one because there is a few different ways to spell it. Okay. Um, but you pronounced it correctly, Natalie. Natalie, and then studying uh, four hours by Six o'clock are okay. content words. So which ones are the, the content words? Natalie, mm -hmm. studying, mm -hmm. four hours, six o'clock. Okay, and try and read it. Natalie will have been studying for four hours by six o'clock. Be careful with the bean. Been. Been. Okay. Natalie will have been studying. Been. Natalie will have been studying for four hours. Four hours by six o'clock. I think I'll have to pronounce uh, uh, R of uh, four because its sound is hours. Uh, four hours. Not four hours. Yes. Four hours. Pronouncing <laughs> okay. this room would be hours. Four yes. hours. Uh, Natalie yeah. will have been studying for four hours by six o'clock. Good. Mm -hmm. And you repeat first. I'll, I'll yeah. correct. 
Uh, Natalie will have been studying for four hours by six o'clock. Natalie will have been studying for four hours by six o'clock. Yes. Uh, also to point out o'clock becomes o'clock. O'clock. Okay. Again, schwa. The schwa. Yes. The most common sound is the schwa. Yeah. Um, so quite often in o'clock, it's o'clock. Okay. In British English, everywhere schwa, schwa, schwa is there. There is no words without schwa. <laughs> Yes, especially in uh, spoken. Yes. Um, but I guess it depends on the accent and the region. Uh, but yeah, the schwa is, is very, very common yes. in our speaking. Um, number five. Uh, the boys and I spend the weekend next to the lake fishing for trout. Uh, so I think the boys and I. Okay. Boys. I spend weekend next lake fishing for trout. Fishing and trout. Fishing and trout. What I don't know about next. Why do you say next? Because next uh, to would be a preposition. Okay. Next to. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's preposition. You are right. So. Uh, the boys and I will spend a weekend next to the lake fishing for trout. The boys and I will spend the weekend next to the lake fishing for trout. The boys and I will spend the weekend next to the lake fishing for trout. Good. <laughs> and number six. Jennifer, Elise, finished. Report uh, due last week. Okay, so try and read it. You say, correct on the names also. Jennifer and Alice have finished the perf uh, the report before. Uh, it was due last week. Jennifer and Alice have finished the report before. It was due last week. Last week. Jennifer. Jennifer and Alice. Jennifer and Alice had finished the report before it was due last week. Jennifer and Alice had finished the report before it was due last week. Yes. Um, so what happens to the and? And Jennifer and Alice. Jennifer and Alice. Jel blah blah. Jennifer and Alice. Jennifer yeah. and Alice. Good. And um, we have the answers here but I think we were right about all of them. Um, yeah. So we're finished on that one. I think all of them are correct. So. Okay, I think answers yeah. are in cross um, font. Yes, yeah, they're in um, italics. Okay. So Jennifer, Alice, finished report due last week. I'm going to do next. Which is not that. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to test you a little bit. So if you have paper. Okay. Um, I want you to just write down C or F. Uh, C would mean content and F will mean function. Okay. So content words, um, what are content words? Content words means verb, adjective, noun, and function words means preposition, conjunction. Yeah. Uh, then. Yeah, so the content words will be main After. verbs. Nouns, yes. adjectives, adverbs. Function <coughs> words will be prepositions, articles. Articles, conjunction. Yeah. Okay, so um, how many is there? 20. Okay. So what? I'll tell you orally, not an issue. When is a um, content word? With is a function word? Just is uh i think 
think uh, function word quickly is a content word uh, the is a function word hard is content word next to is a function word cd room is a content word mm, open is a content word had is a function word or is a, a function word information is a content word in order to is a, i think a function word difficult is a content word uh, much uh, i'm confused with that uh, i think it's 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 a content word mhm uh, i'm confused with that <laughs> number 15 okay number 15 uh, we can check uh exacting is a content word in front of is a function word jack is a content word uh he he i think he is a content word not function word and however it's a content word okay so we'll check our i'm i'm confused with 15 number 15 and 19 okay um it's hard to see because you so the first couple we are correct um i wanted to point it out number 10 which was had can be both yes yes because it acts sometimes as a main verb or sometimes as a helping verb yes helping verb it's a function uh, main verb it's a content yes um 15 you said was much function is a function word okay and uh, 19 as well i was confused with its function word function Means word i was uh, I, i was confused with both okay. yes so the um pronouns he uh would be function usually okay 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 um do you have any yeah. other questions about that no when you will send me this uh, <laughs> uh web i'll uh, check if i have any problem yes. anything but you are very now, fast so i'm not it. sure which one, uh, if we got all of them right but i think you got most of them right uh, no, i don't so again this is just practicing some some more um with the stress so number 1 which words would you say are stressed finished breakfast arrived so how would you read it he had finished breakfast before i arrived yeah so what happened to the had uh i think uh, it's it's a, a content word here because uh, he had finished uh, no it's helping verb he had finished he'd finished he'd finished yeah. breakfast before i arrived i yeah. arrived so it it kind of becomes he'd he'd finished he he'd finished breakfast before i arrived good so let's just check that um stressed words finished and breakfast arrived Which breakfast I- finished breakfast arrived i i was right you're right <laughs> good And number 2 uh Philip ordered huge steak dinner steak 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 Philip ordered Philip ordered a huge steak for dinner Yeah Good you made this the schwa and this became the weak form Yeah just check philip ordered huge steak dinner you're right um, now number 3 they have to stay up late if they are going to finish their homework uh stay up late uh if going to going finish homework okay let's check 
stay up late, finish homework. So if and going to would not be stressed. Okay. Okay, so uh, try and read it as if stay up late, finish homework. Okay, stay up is not stressed. Stay up is stressed. Okay. Uh, stay up late, finish homework. Hmm. Uh, did I make a mistake? Uh, so you said mm -hmm. if and going to would also be stressed, but they don't need to be. Okay. They're so not I'll say they love to stay up late if they are going to finish their homework. They'll have to stay up late if they're going to finish their homework. Yeah, they'll have to, they'll have to stay up late if they're going to finish their homework. They'll have to stay up late if they're going to finish their homework. Yeah. So again, we have the... Sometimes I feel like, or sometimes I feel like when you native speakers speak, you swallow some words. <laughs> we what, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> you swallow some words. Swallow. You eat some words. We, uh, eat some of the words. Yeah. <laughs> we do. I feel like that. <laughs> um, you're right. So have to, have to. Have to. They'll have to stay a plate if they are going to finish their homework. Yeah. And a lot of times if we're speaking, going to, we, we, would, got to. we make it gonna. Gonna. Gonna and go to going to um... so often when we speak we would say uh they will have to stay up late if they are going to finish their homework they'll have to stay up late if they're going to finish their homework yes um we've got then gonna or wanna it's another one yes yes i've studied it but i have a little uh Yes, just just I realized that uh, gonna and gotta two different things. So going to is gonna and gotta means uh, what is is its extended form? Got to got to. Got is that to. Okay. Is that what you're mm -hmm. saying? Got to. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Um, so written is going to, but often when we are talking, we would say gonna. Gonna. Yes. Okay. What about number four? Uh, something in the uh, something air caused. Jack's shout. Okay. Something air caused Jack and shout. Okay, uh, let's check. It must be something. Uh, it must have caused been Jack. Okay, shout. Answer, okay. So you're you're yeah, right. Air caused Jack shout. Okay. Now you can read it. Uh, it must have been. It must have been something in the air that caused Jack to shout. Jack to shout. Yes. It must have been something in the air that caused Jack to shout. Jack, uh, Jack to shout. Jack to shout. It must have been something in the air that caused Jack to shout. Now, 100% is not correct, but little bit trying to... Now, one interesting thing is must have. Um, it must have been. It sounds must like have. must have. Must have. Um, so you will notice sometimes with uh, native speakers when they are writing, they make mistake and they write must of. Um, <laughs> it happens with native <laughs> speakers too. Uh, sometimes my okay. friends do it. They write must of instead of must have. Okay. Okay. Because when we speak it, it sounds like must have. Must have, yes. Must have been something in the air. Okay? Mm. 
All right, let's yeah. move on to number five. Uh, uh, stress is, could you please be more, could you be, please, uh, could you please be more quiet? Uh, could, please, quiet. Could please quiet? Because it's, yeah, because it's a question. So uh, question word will be stressed. We'll could check. you be more quiet? Could you be please more quiet? Could you please be more quiet? quiet. Yes. Let's check number five. Oh, yes. Please yeah. more quiet. Please more quiet. <laughs> Good is not the stress. I mean, it's difficult because when you're reading, you tend to stress the first word. Yes, because because it's a question word. Yeah. So w when we're reading it, we often stress the first. Uh, but when we are mm. actually speaking, we wouldn't stress this. Uh, could you please be more quiet? Could you please be more quiet? Yeah. So the please and more quiet. The could you? Could you? Could. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? <laughs> yeah. Or could you? Could you be? It uh, could you please be more quiet? Could you? Could you? It depends on the accent. Could you or could you? It can, yes. it can be both. Uh, this, could you or could you? Yeah, this could become yeah. Um, but that would be quite informal. Could you? Okay. Could you? Could you be? Uh, could you please be more quiet? Good. Um, let me just check how much time we have. We have two minutes. Okay, we'll do one more. So the last one we'll do today is number six. Unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish on time. Unfortunately, Jack wasn't. When function word is negative, we have to stress it. Wasn't able to finish on time. So I think, unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish on time. Let's check. Uh, I'm, I'm completely oh. confused with this sentence. <laughs> You're confused with this sentence? Confused, yes, totally confused. Uh, About the meaning, you mean? No, 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 stressed. Yes. So um, you are saying, unfortunately, Jack wasn't finish time. Yes. Let's check the answer. Uh, unfortunately, Jack finished time. So the wasn't, in this case, is a function word. Okay. Uh, sometimes when function word, uh, if helping verb is, verb is with a negative form, you have to stress is because I have heard uh, somewhere that uh, we can say can, but when it comes with not, we say can't. Yes. We, can, we cannot so, say. So can't can. is an example that you would stress it. Um, we, I think we talked about that okay. yesterday. Um, but this wasn't, it would change to Jack wasn't, wasn't. Wasn't, wasn't. Unfo unfortunately, Jack wasn't able to finish on time. On time. Unfortunately, Jack... We're going to run out of time, though, because we've got 15 seconds. Yes, uh, it, okay. it was very nice okay. to see you. Yes. Right. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Okay, bye.